Welcome to the December 7, 2020 Gaston County Schools Induction Ceremony. I'm Britt Moore, Chairman of the Board and uh, Representative of uh, Crowers Mountain Township. Uh, we're, things are a little different this morning. Typically we are over at the courthouse, uh, but we're here in our boardroom uh, due to COVID. i uh, like to welcome everyone that's here and those watching live. Uh, we have this morning with us Mr. Uh, Joe Bell. He is going to come and lead, lead us in our invocation. And then uh, Dr. Jeffrey Booker will lead us in our pledge. And we have the Honorable David Phillips here to, uh, to, for the induction of the elected officials. So I'd like to thank you. Good morning. Uh, so honored to be able to be here with you this day. Thankful for your service and your help but the place where we should begin is with prayer. So join me if you would. Oh, most gracious God, we thank you for this opportunity, uh, for life itself, for the wonders of creation, for your goodness and grace and mercy in our lives. And lest we think this life is about anything we do or accomplish, we recognize it's all by your grace. We come to you today and the school day is almost a third over for some of our students and teachers and staff. We thank you for those who checked students in this morning. We thank you for those who drove them here and to their schools who helped the schools to be warm and clean and ready. We thank you for teachers and staff that have worked for a while now to prepare for this day. We thank you for students who came to school and have accomplished a great deal this semester. We thank you for those who have stayed home and have learned and grown as well. We ask God that you would continue to bless these your people in this county. We come to you on behalf of this board. We thank you for brave men and women who have decided that part of the call in their life is to help improve and care for our schools. We thank you for our superintendent and our administrators, for the teachers and the staff in each and every location who have in this strange, crazy year done their very best to provide education and care for your people. And we recognize that this year has had its own toll. We recognize that there are students who aren't where they should be educationally that there are families that are struggling just to get by, much less to help their students. That there are teachers who feel overwhelmed, whether in person in our hybrid environment or virtual, teaching students who aren't even in their classroom. And we recognize the pain and the destruction that's happened this year with this virus. And we give thanks in spite of all that. We think right now of these men and women who are going to become the leaders of our schools in the next year. We thank you for their lives and their families. We thank you for their faith and their courage. And we ask that you would begin right now to work among them, to build community, to build them as people of prayer and of faith who follow their beliefs and their conscience, and to help us to have your divine guidance and strength to make the proper decisions and to do what is best for these thousands of students who we're given the responsibility for. And we pray for the families and community around our schools, for the teachers' families who are having trouble just maintaining with such a strange schedule for their loved ones, for the people who are helping our students learn. And we ask, God, that you would help us all to work together to continue to follow you and to build this community that we all might be more like you, we pray. In your blessed name we ask. Amen. Amen. Thank you.